Hey, we're back to Stormworks. I thought I would show you a glitch. I like this glitch. Because it's a very mathy glitch. So we've got a medium-sized boat. Let's uh, turn it on. And now let's accelerate. Ooh, get a little bit of pep, doesn't it? So this boat goes at about 80 meters a second, and it handles fine. Things like turning and stuff. I'm not going to show you that because um, it's safe to go straight. But there's islands to either side, so we're not going to turn. Now, you can reach 80 meters a second uh, in this game with boats. Uh, it's not that hard. What makes this special? Well, let's head on downstairs and take a look. This is our fuel gauge. You can see we've got 6,000 units of fuel, and we're burning about one unit of fuel per second, which means that we got 6,000 seconds of fuel. That's a lot. But... 6,000 units of fuel isn't actually very much fuel. Normally, a ship this size would burn 10 times as much fuel and have a tank that's two or three times this size. So, how is this moving at 80 meters a second on sips of fuel? What's the secret? Well, if we look in the back here, this is the engine room. And if you're familiar with the game, you might realize these, these are not engines. These are flywheels. This is the engine. So let's go back to dock and talk about it, because if I stay out here, it's just going to be growling at me the whole time. It's much quieter when it's not running. Yay. So, exactly what's going on here? Well, this engine is pretty small. It's a 24-cylinder engine, which sounds like a lot, but they're very small cylinders. Um, this engine is slightly less performative than the medium size normal engine, the one that comes pre-packaged, so you don't have to assemble on your own. Um, and despite that, it can power this boat at 80 meters a second on almost no fuel. So what's going on here is that this relatively small engine is accelerating these flywheels, all of them. The reason it can do that efficiently and effectively is because of a glitch in the frame-to-frame -frame torque calculations. If we pulse this uh, clutch at just the right time, we can accelerate all of those flywheels up to, you know, 10 meters, 20 meters, or 20 rotations per second each frame. And it's the same with each of these stacks. So this is our, our push button to turn on the engine, and I'll just show you how quickly it spins up these three torque, these three uh, flywheels. There you go. And they're all spun up throughout. <laughs> so this is not how flywheels work. As you might know if you've ever seen a flywheel, even if you're not familiar with the ones in this game, it takes a lot of power to spin them up because they weigh a metric butt ton. That's the point, right? When you can spin them up in you know one, one or two frames, there's clearly something going wrong, especially if you can spin them up with an engine that weighs 1% of the flywheel's weight. So what's going on here is simply that I pulse this clutch and it spins up these flywheels and then I pulse this clutch and it spins these flywheels and I pulse these clutches and it spins up all of these flywheels back here. The only thing limiting me to a mere 80 meters per second is these gearboxes because these new gearboxes have a maximum amount of torque uh, before they become stressed. And you can see down there in the red it says stressed false. That becomes true real, real fast. How fast? I'm running at this, this clutch is set at a permanent 20%. If it goes even 1% higher, then this gearbox fractures and explodes. <laughs> That's how much torque we're putting through. And uh, then back here, we've got this, this, uh, this is just to power these, these fluid jets. And it similarly never goes very high, although it's dependent on how much I'm trying to move forward. It certainly never goes to 1. I think it caps out at like 0.18, something like that. I just really love these kinds of mathematical timing glitches. I don't really know how long this glitch will be in the game. It's, it's one of these things where a lot of the glitches just stay in the game forever. Uh, we still have the jet engine um, the, the, the submarine jet engine glitch. We still have the open frame sub plans. We still got a lot of the glitches that I love using. And I can add this one to the arsenal. It makes these, these, um, 
diesel engines so effective at providing power that they can actually output more power than a jet engine. And previously the jet engine was like super badass king of, of power output. Now the only problem is that the flywheels weigh quite a bit. But if you're building a submarine, you actually need that extra mass. And you're saving on not having a big fuel tank. Uh, it's just another tool to add to the arsenal, the glitch arsenal. There's nothing particularly special about this boat, but uh, if you want to take a look and master the exact timing of the engine room, I'll put it up on the workshop for you, assuming the workshop works. Some days it doesn't. Uh, and I'll see you around.